Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a watch unboxing here. Uh, yeah, there's a little pull tab on here, but that's not as much fun as cutting the package open, right? Actually, this might be taped and sealed, so probably would be better off using the pull tab. Especially with the dull knife here. All right, there we go. Uh, this is a Van Banner LEA watch. I purchased this watch with my own money, so it's not a paid promotion. I think it comes with some extra straps as well. Okay, just checking in the box real quick there. Oops. Uh, I think I found everything I just dropped here. There we go. Got a little overzealous with pulling the um, bubble wrap off the table here. Oh, nice little metal tin here. Kind of reminds me of a Casio G-Shock tin, but uh, this one is square. <laughs> Rectangular. Well, it actually looks like a perfect cube. So, let's get this thing open. Okay, so that's just, uh, make sure there's no personal information on there. Please read before using the watch. I don't ever really read these. I don't know if you guys read them or not, but uh, if you want to, you can pause the video and read that. Okay, so this one came with a microfiber cloth. This cool tin, the metal mesh bracelet here. When I see pictures of this online, it's a bloom monster. Actually, speaking of that, I'm wearing my um, yellowfin tuna or bumblebee, whatever you want to call it, the uh, Marine Master 1000 meter water resistance on that one. Uh, but yeah, this is a large watch as well. So is this one, so kind of why I put this one on for the unboxing. I'm sure it'll be large on my wrist, but uh, oh well, sometimes that's fun. There we go. Should be focused on that now. Yeah, this thing is big. I think it's at least 45 millimeter if I remember correctly. I don't know what movement's in it yet. I'll be looking all that up. So the bezel is uh, one piece of aluminum, stainless steel. I'm assuming a stainless steel. It doesn't have an insert, so that's a little bit different. It has this plate on the side here. There we go. Uh, focus on this camera. I'm going to fix that. All right, sorry about that. Back uh, here again with the watch. Let's get the plastic off the, the strap here. I should be able to pause the video again. So I've not seen a black metal mesh strap before. No, I'll have to pause the video again. I'll get all this stuff unwrapped and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so here it is without the protective plastic on it anymore. The mesh strap feels like it's PVD coated. You can you can kind of feel that coating on there. It feels almost rubberized, I guess is one way to say it. But it's kind of funny because you can feel where it's not applied here, where the LEA is on here. And then here's a look at the other straps. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter lug. So the straps, of course, are 24 millimeter as well. Oh, wow, I didn't even... Uh, okay, so I guess it comes with two leather straps. It's the same thing. 
I guess the buckle is a little bit different color. But the leather looks to be about the same color here. So I hope so. I hope it doesn't matter. I'm going to get these mixed up. Yeah, they look pretty much like the same thing. It actually looks a little, little bit different color here on the back side. So but anyway, you can see they're genuine leather, uh, 24 millimeter. And then it comes with this uh, NATO strap as well. Quite a large NATO strap. So let's zoom out here. I'll get this on my wrist and then we'll close out the video. And actually, I will show you... I will show you the loom. I don't normally show the loom in the unboxings, but from the pictures, this thing looks like it's pretty amazing. So let's check out the loom here. So I have a six and a half inch wrist, and this thing is it's quite weighty too. It's kind of funny when you pick it up, you definitely know you have a watch in your hand. I know, let's take a quick look at the movement here. Seiko NH35 movement, uh, Sapphire Crystal. Van Banner watch and then the 316L. So this is 316L stainless steel. Oh, that's interesting. So no, okay. So there's a little. You might not be able to see it, but there's little grooves on the back here. I was thinking I might be able to reverse it so you wouldn't see the LEA on the outside, but uh, no, that doesn't work that way. Okay, yep, so right there, there's a little little nub right there, and that indexes off this groove. So this portion of the clasp just presses the bracelet down. My, oh, my fingers are blocking it. Let's see how high up we can go here. Uh, let me get this fitted. Okay, there we go. I'm sure there's a limited amount of um, adjustment on here, so I may not be able to adjust this down to my wrist size, but that's pretty close right there. So there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. It looks like the lugs do overhang my wrist, which I kind of expected. All right, let me turn off the light back there and uh, we'll check out the loom. Yeah, uh, definitely a lot of loom on this thing. Even down there at uh, six o'clock, you can see where it says, well, it says automatic. My camera would focus, you could see that. Yeah, very cool. Lots of loom on this thing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it greatly helps me out. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.